Stadium here at Orchard Park. Straight ahead, it's Wild Card Weekend, and we've got a great one in store between the Indianapolis Colts and the Buffalo Bills. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp, throughout the season to get to the playoffs. Intensity level will be off the charts. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback out of NC State. It's Phillip Rivers. And he comes off of a really good regular season with over 4,000 yards passing. And now in the playoffs, people always ask the question, do you continue to play the way you played in the regular season? Do you turn it loose? Or do you tone it down a little bit? I think you've got to be smart. But make sure you show the defense something they haven't seen before. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The coaches stressed their defense being physical. They don't just mean the big guys. How about the guys on the outside, the cornerbacks? It's not just their job to patrol the airspace. They can get involved in the run game as well. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Working out of the gun, Rivers. Big hold of the 30. Out of his hands quickly to Pittman. And finally taken down at the 36-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. First down. That certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. down Hines and that play went nowhere losing yardage it'll be back at the 36 officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11 at the 36 yard line on second and 11 now Rivers oh it's a screen pass that's complete and he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen, where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one because to me, when that happens, key guys are out. The next man steps up and plays well. But that starts with the organization itself, all the way through. No excuses for guys being out. Finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them. And we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. So mark off the yardage for roughing the passer. And I've seen this before. On a screen pass, not only are you rushing the passer, you're rushing him deeper than normal. And I think a little frustration kicks in at the end. You're going to hit him anyway when you shouldn't. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. you got to make the right diagnosis. Gary correctly sends his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. They'll try to throw here. Rivers. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. And it appears that this was just a letdown from the offensive line, but they do have a tough job because if you're a big tackle out there on the perimeter, 
Sometimes you don't have the agility to keep up with the defensive end who's looking to wreak havoc in the backfield. And he got there and put his man on the ground. Throwing on third and long. Rivers. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. And when you think about his performance this year, you have to have nothing but admiration the way that he passed his team into the playoffs. They threw it around so well in the regular season, but in this game, the elements may affect them. I think they'll continue to fling it around until the weather slows them down. And if it doesn't, they'll continue to show the style that they've shown throughout the season. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. From the gun, it's Allen. Flush to his right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. something to behold there. You might expect runs like that from a kick returner or a wide receiver, but that's your quarterback hitting top speed. And normally when you see guys moving this fast, it might be a fly pattern from a receiver or a toss sweep from a tailback or something like that. This was designed as a passing play, and then he got out of the pocket, and he just took off, and he just kept gaining momentum with every step. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. In on the sack, the former Buckeye, Tyquan Lewis. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. We're scoreless after one. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Singletary here running out of the gun. He'll be dropped shy of the 40 despite powering through the tackle. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Finding Knox there, complete. And they'll get this across the midfield stripe, but still winding up short of the first down. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker, that the defense almost relaxed and said, we got this covered, and then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch, and now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that. It seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. From the gun. Rivers, he's got Jack Doyle, and able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. Operating from the gun, Rivers. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Just go right out and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. First and 10, Taylor now. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. On running plays, 
linemen, of course, have their assignments. That's expected. But it's not often you're expecting to see a cornerback blitzing and run support and tackling the runner for a loss. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Call it a loss of six on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. From the gun, Rivers taken in by the tight end, Doyle. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. A reminder coming up at the half as we've done all year. We'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown on what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin on the road to Super Bowl 53 in Atlanta. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit. Just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact. But continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Zach Paschal, the intended receiver. And yeah, that'll make it third down. I like what they did there because many of the deep throws we see in the course of a game come to the outside, the perimeter of the field. In this case, they used a slot receiver to run deep downfield and tried to connect that way. Unsuccessful in that attempt, but I like what they were doing. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Operating from the gun. Rivers going for Hilton, and it's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it, and he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll make it a second down. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Going deep for Diggs. This is caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Stephon Diggs. 41 yards. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Point after here, coming up. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. on the return and he won't quite make it to the 25 on the return the Colts take over first and 10 at their own 24 yard line and he's set to go on offense once more and job one here Charles just keep possession of the football two drives two turnovers to this point you're exactly right doctor Hippocratic oath first do no harm and right now they're harming themselves on offense I like that no one is just taking me for a doctor though but thank you Dr. Davis from the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts 
as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. From the gun, Rivers. And Pascal's got it. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Here's Hines. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. Diggs with a good footwork. It's a 40-yard punt, four yards on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. So the shotgun snap to Allen. This is Yeldon on the dump off. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. They run with a rookie from Utah. This is Zach Moss. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Rigoberto Sanchez to kick off Orton. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. Fielded in the end zone, and he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Aleph. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Now Allen going to give it to Moss. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Allen going to try and throw on third down. And that's caught by Smith. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Allen's throw is complete, and he gets it inside the 35 and just shot of the 30. Nice job there utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. 
Throwing is Allen on third. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. The Colts D sticking to their assignments, and that brings up fourth. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and the lead moves to 10-0. So put another three on the board, all things considered. A good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. The Colts take over first and 10. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. And Oliver gets him for a loss of eight. What great push up front. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Tredavious White with a pick. Well, so much of playing quarterback in the snow comes down to trying not to do too much. You can't just keep telling yourself, throws downfield, we've run every day in practice all year. But guess what? They suddenly become more difficult. And this one gets away from him and winds up an interception. There to stop him was Darius Leonard. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. It's second and eight. Now Allen. They go with the screen. It's Yeldon. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Second and six. To throw on second and six. Allen flushed out right. Allen hit. He lost the football. And the Colts pick it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. start their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Rivers now after the fumble recovery. That's into the hands of Pascal. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. From the gun, Rivers. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. I remember throughout my career here, and defensive coaches always say, guys, you get earned the right to rush the passer. And they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. And he's got his man Hilton. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. Now Rivers. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. That catch good for only a couple. 
Brings up second and eight at the 20-yard line. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Operating from the gun. Rivers. He'll find Hines out of the backfield. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that's going to lead to a third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You tackle them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big one there on third down. They hit for 30 yards. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. To throw again, Rivers. Left side, Doyle with it. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Five yards, now it's third and five. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And some strong running. And a throw there gonna be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Desperation time, Rivers on fourth down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Doyle. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Rivers now to throw on first down. A good throw here, finding Pascal. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. From the red zone now, Rivers. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll get this forward only for about a yard as that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Looking to throw again on second down. Rivers toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one close quickly and helped force the incompletion. the football. Jerry the Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Absolute backbreaker. A chance to get back within a score. Couldn't do it. Yeah, that one went begging, as they say, right? There's the opportunity, and it was missed. But all hope's not lost just yet. But, boy, getting back within one score would have been a powerful motivator for their defense to take the field with. That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. They'll go again here with Moss. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. 
Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. So now the veteran Rivers and the Colts. Down 10-0, 35 seconds to go. They've yet to score all game long, but now they need to do so twice in short order to have a shot. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked on, off by Micah Hyde. Make it happen. Make it happen. How about one last great play defensively, and that should, for all intents and purposes, finish off this shutout. That's as good a defensive performance as we've seen in a long, long time. And I know as a team they will celebrate, but I will guarantee you the defensive guys, they'll get together somewhere and have their own private celebration. A shutout, that's something to be cherished. Charles on the losing side of things. You know, they didn't come in here as the favorite to these playoffs, but they came in with a lot of hope and anticipation. Tough to have that all snuffed out so quickly. It really is. You're one of 12 teams when the playoffs begin that still has a chance to win the Super Bowl. So that's pretty darn good. And as you often talk about, a lot of hope when the playoffs start. Well, that ended for them. But when they look back, they'll have a lot to be proud of and see if they turn the page towards the next season. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com.